Well, hello. I don't know how many people have asked this question, but I did. What's the difference between a Parker Sonnet and a Parker Frontier? Well, in this video, let's find out. All right, so these are the two pens in question. We have the Parker Frontier and we have the Parker Sonnet. I think at first glance, you can see some similarities. Uh, it's obvious that the uh, Frontier is just slightly wider than the Sonnet, and maybe just a teensy bit longer, but very similar looking. Uh, we've got a little more design going on on the Sonnet than we do on the Frontier. If we examine the clips, well, caps, set that thingy aside. Come on. So it just so happens they have the same exact uh, clip design. I, I will say that this is an older sonnet that I purchased used. Uh, there's definitely a price difference. If I would have bought this sonnet new, most of them run around 120 to 150 bucks. And if you go for the gold nib, which this is not, you're looking at quite a bit more. Whereas the Frontier, we're looking at around 20 bucks. So uh, some similarities, some differences. Uh, we'll pop these puppies open. So now we're looking at the uh, sections and nibs. Definitely a bit more similarity. I, I will say that the, the, the frontier has a little bit, you know, the grip section is just tapered down, whereas the sonnet kind of tapers down and then back up, it's sort of concave. The nibs sure look a lot alike. Maybe not so much in terms of design on them, but when you look deeper than the design, yeah, a lot of similarity there. Uh, we look at the feeds, uh, the, apparently the frontier is on top now. Uh, a little different, but are they really? And from the back, it just shows how similar the two nibs are. We open up both pens. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> I thought there was a converter in there. So I'm going to have to edit this uh, search for a converter out. Uh, but they are both cartridge converter pens. And they'll take the exact same converter. So uh, just assume that a little bit of time has been edited out of this video whilst I go find myself a Parker converter. All right, so that was awkward. Uh, <laughs> Parker converters come in two flavors. Uh, there's this slide converter, and then there's this uh, more traditional turny, twisty, spinny converter. Uh, I have been told that the slide converter is for pens that can't fit the spinny, twisty converter, but I'm not seeing it. They, they look like the same length to me. So I prefer the, the spinny, twisty converter, so that's what we'll go with. Uh, apparently, uh, Parker's converter is somewhat proprietary. So I'm going to fill it up with a... I had a request that you got to get away from that Parker Quink washable blue, so we'll do that. So I'm going to go with Krishna... No, that's not the ink I meant to use. We'll try that again. <laughs> We'll go with a Krishna Masi Series Iron Gall Orange Honey. Uh, so the reason I want to go with this Orange Honey, I was talking to somebody from Arizona this week who uh, was talking about how, how the honey made from the orange trees there still smells a bit like oranges when you open the bottle, which sounds very cool to me because the bees around here don't ever touch orange trees for some reason. People hate when I do this. But you know what? They'll live dangerously. So 
So people are always afraid I'll knock my sample bottles over. Um, I probably will one of these days, but uh, haven't yet. So one thing that occurs to me uh, as I'm doing this uh, as a difference, definitely a higher quality finish on the Sonnet. I, I've always, always loved this red finish. Yes, they have some very cool finishes. They used to have a checked purple and kind of pink finish that I thought was gorgeous. Uh, wasn't going to buy one at that price, but I did like it. And they have uh, some new finishes out right now that I think are really beautiful. And again, probably not going to spend that money. Uh, the other thing, I do think that the Sonnet just is a bit more refined. Uh, I also don't know this. Let's find out. So we're going to quick, we're going to do something else dangerous. I'm going to show you two other Sonnet nibs because they can be purchased in different sizes. Uh, I bought two italic nibs, or I'm sorry, oblique nibs. You can also purchase some italic nibs for them, depending on your, usually not from U.S. sources, but you can. Uh, I am just curious. The way you take them out is you unscrew them. I'm not going to force anything. Color me surprised. Okay. Did not see that coming either. So this is the unplanned part of the video. Looking a lot alike there. So what's the difference? Well, maybe a writing sample will reveal something. If I can figure out what the hell I did with my notebook. I just went looking for the notebook, found it, and then I realized, hey, why don't I just write it in my review notebook? So we'll do that. Uh, but I did find it. It was just, it been knocked on the floor. Okay, had to readjust my exposure for this. Fortunately, I have learned how. So first thing, these are both medium nibs, which I should have written. Uh, so I'm trying, I am fortunate to be able to do as much as possible a like-to-like -like comparison here. Uh, this one, the Parker Frontier, is using uh, platinum carbon black. Yes, I could have put that in the other pen. I just didn't want to. I really don't want to write the whole name, so plus I have to grab the bottle again to figure out how to spell it. So we'll just go Krishna Orange Blossom. And you can see that it is an iron gall ink because of the color change. So what do I notice about the nibs right away? Well, let's see, the plat or the frontier. Flex, not Frontier, good gravy. Frontier, just pretty much uh, plain ordinary writing. The Sonnet. Uh, does feel a little bit smoother. Not, you know, lots smoother, but definitely feels smoother. Wetness and flow. Oops, I'm still on screen. Wetness and flow. I've always liked how wet this pen is. And I guarantee the Frontier is going, or the Sonnet is going to do just as well. Except you couldn't see it. But I promise it did just as well. Uh, smear test. Now you can see that this is still wet here. This is still wet here. And of course we are using two different inks, which is hardly fair. Now 
that's pretty wet. Try to remember to use a different finger. That's pretty wet as well. So very comparable. Uh, reverse writing. Ew. <laughs> that is really scratchy. Let's see how it goes on this guy. Reverse writing. Okay, point to the sonnet because that's much smoother and it's an extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Now, I don't know if I was doing the, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test yet when I originally did my videos on either of these pens, but uh, I already predict that it's going to pass. Okay, the... $20 Frontier passed. Let's see how the, if it was new, hundred and some dollar Sonnet passes. And both patents pass with flying colors. So uh, since we're comparing pens, let's just do some vertical lines and some horizontal lines side by side. Darned if I can see a difference. So, you know, where I'm at is those nibs are a lot alike. Yeah, a little more feedback here, but that could be individual construction or whatever. Uh, both, you know, this one, nice satisfying click. This one, a little bit mushier click. Let me uh, do them again by the microphone. So here's the, uh, you can't see me, but here's the frontier getting closed. Here's the sonnet getting closed. So I think the frontier has a better click. Seems to be more solid uh, when it clicks. They both are pretty solid on the pen. So that's not the difference. See, posting. That posts nice and securely. This one posts almost as securely. I will give the point there to the Sonnet. But really, I haven't seen anything that explains the difference in price. Yes, if I had the gold nib version here, you, we, we would see a definitely reason for a difference in price. So let me offer you a possible explanation. This is a different brand. This is a Platinum 3776 with a beautiful gold nib, soft fine. Here, wrapped in a protective covering, is a pen that you bought me. Uh, I bought the 3776 with my own money. This was bought by Channel Income. So this is a Nakaya Decapod Twist with a soft fine nib. Oh, and Plot Twist they have, yeah, the decoration's different. They have the exact same 14 karat soft fine nib. I could swap out feeds. I could swap out converters. So what the heck is the difference between them? Well, <laughs> for one, the reason this was bought with channel income rather than, uh, you know, from my job income is this one costs six to seven times, maybe more, what this one costs. Plastic, injection molded plastic. Ebonite, with a hand painted Arushi finish, plus uh, a lot of hand carving to get all these facets. And... 
I paid extra to get squirrel written on it. So uh, that's the difference. So I would say that really the difference between the Parker Sonnet and the Parker Frontier is quality of manufacture. And is that enough to justify buying one instead of the other? So let's look at my face while we conclude that discussion. That was the Parker Sonnet and the Parker Frontier. Now, admittedly, we mostly worked with the lower... I don't own one of the really classy, expensive Parker Sonnets. I, that's, I just don't. A couple of them I'd like to own, but, you know, probably never will. But uh, really, what was the difference there? So the Parker Frontier is a little less in, uh, adorned. Uh, you can get Parker Frontier in plastic. You can't get the Parker Sonnet in plastic. You can get a gold nib on the Parker Sonnet, not on the Parker Frontier. Uh, and I think there's a couple details of manufacture, like, you know, the cap, the cap band and things on the Parker Sonnet. But really, especially with the steel nib, there was not as much difference as I expected to find. So I feel like I'm missing something. And maybe one of you can jump in in the comments and let me know what I missed that's different about the Parker Frontier and Sonnet. Uh, the tolerances on both pens I thought were very good. I actually kind of liked the capping on the Frontier a little bit better than the Sonnet. Um, you know, maybe the clip is a little better on the Sonnet. I don't know. A little fatter Frontier, maybe. But I, I couldn't see a difference, you know, as far as cap or this test whatever the okay wrong way that went on with a little bit of a struggle but not too horrible and this test or with the frontier you're failing okay so maybe <laughs> okay found another difference yeah the clip is uh more smoothed on the sonnet because that frontier really wanted to catch on my shirt there uh, so if you like your shirts, maybe don't put a frontier in them. But overall, I found them pretty comparable. Now, I could have done better and used the same ink in each one and so on, but I didn't. And that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that was interesting. I hope it was useful. I want to thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.